Welcome to the Short Score, the Team Roping Journal's weekly updates from the team roping world, including from Pro Rodeo, Major Jackpots, USTRC, and World Series of Team Roping Qualifiers, and more, with hosts Chelsea Schaefer and Caitlin Gustav. Good morning, Caitlin. Morning, Chels. Morning, everybody. Welcome to the Short Score. This is... California week. California week. Everybody's in California. Oh, yeah. We're not. We're not. I probably should go back. Oh, yeah. It's it's your hometown. Yeah. Home state. Home state. (laughs) Home state. Home state. state. Well, everybody's in California, so we have the updates for kind of getting California rolling. So, Caitlin, what? tell me. So, I guess on this episode, I'll tell you that we're going to talk about, we're going to talk what's going on in Pro Rodeo. We're going to go over what happened at Logandale and Oakdale. We're going to talk to you about some new partners that are doing good. Mm -hmm. We've got to review what happened at the Hork Dog. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome roping every year at the South Point. We're going to go over a Matthews Landing Cattle World Series roping. Um, The first American Cowboy 12 happened. The Texas Championships were in San Antonio. And we're going to tell you some upcoming events. So stay tuned for this episode. All right. Caitlin. Who has been the big winner so far in California, or in the out west trip? It's not quite all California. Well, it kind of just, I guess, are they entering together just in California, but Luke Brown and Jade Corkill. Yes, they are just entering in California. We heard from Luke, mm-hmm. and he said that, you know, Libby is getting ready to go to school mm-hmm. next year. And this is probably going to be his last chance at going to California. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he, he's headed out west, and he wanted to go. Paul is getting ready to have a new baby. Congratulations, Paul and Amanda. Um, so Paul, is, Paul stayed home, and so Luke picked up a decent run in Jade Corkill. Pretty decent. They did just okay. Just okay, maybe. <laughs> they banked over ten thousand dollars over the weekend. It's not bad. Not bad at all. They won the Oakdale, California Saddle Club Rodeo. They rope two steers in thirteen point five seconds. Won second in the first round and tied for first in the second round with Dale Benavides and Monty Joe Petska. Uh that's awesome. Then they placed third at the Clark County Fair and Rodeo in Logandale, Nevada, uh, with a 16.8 seconds on three head. Tied for seventh in the first round with Kyle Dennison and Cody Cowden. That's kind of a newer team. I don't know if that's going to be an official new team, but at yeah. least for the California run. And then Marcus Terrio and Colby Payne and Jojo Lamont and Trey Yates, they all roped their steer in 5.5 seconds. For and a then- massive $183 <laughs> check. I feel like any amount of money would better, help out. Better right? than nothing. Better than nothing. Yep. I'd be grateful for it. <laughs> Me too, right now. <laughs> uh, definitely. And then they tied Begay and Thorpe. Um, Derek Begay and Wesley Thorpe. People were kind of, I don't know if anyone saw on Facebook, we posted a new partner swap, so I might as well bring it up right now as we are bringing up Begay and Thorpe. Wesley Thorpe just had a brand new baby the other day, so him and Cody kind of split up for the California run, so yep. Thorpe, I guess, cracked out with Begay. Yeah, he got to, he didn't think he was going to get to go, then yeah. he got to go, um, and Derek wasn't planning on going, but went because Wesley asked him, so. And I just need to say a full disclosure here. While we're talking about partners, mm-hmm. we are not gossiping. No. We only say what we have confirmed and gotten approval to say. Yes. We are not telling you any industry secrets. <laughs> um, they, they might not be well known, but we make sure we get the guy's approval before we put their um, partnerships on blast. Yes. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is key. Please note that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but anyway, so back to the... Back to your... Back to tying in the round. Uh, they also tied Jake Barnes and the champ, Clay O'Brien Cooper. In who are that giving? Round. Who do, they are like on the trail when it comes to schools. Yes, you can find a full list of Jake and Clay's schools on the TeamRopingJournal dot com, and holy schools, they are giving a lot of schools right now. A ton. There are a ton. You get to go. I do get to go to the one in Cheyenne. Yes, Caitlin is to going go. to the Riata Ranch School in Cheyenne um, that Jake Barnes and Clay Cooper are putting on. We're gonna have all kinds of behind the scenes stuff from it. 
I was going to say, I wish I could be entered in the school, but I think I'm going to be able to soak up enough knowledge yes. just by taking pictures. <laughs> yes, absolutely. She's going to get pictures, videos, all kinds of stuff, so stand by. It's going to be awesome. And back to pro rodeo. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so many things. We just get sidetracked. Yes. I mean, every little bit, you know, it all counts. <laughs> just a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, then Logandale winners are two-time NFR qualifiers, both of them, uh, Garrett Rogers and Jake Miner. They added $6,840 to their earnings. They roped three head in 15.9 seconds. Did they get the band back together? I haven't talked to those guys. That's what we need to talk to them. Yeah, we should I'm call wondering. them. I don't know if they're back together or not. Because I know. Garrett started the year with Caesar. Mm-hmm. And I don't know who Jake had at the beginning of the year. I don't know if he was roping with uh, Jeff Flanagan again or not. <laughs> I'm not sure. But we'll we'll find out for next week if they got the band back mm-hmm. together. Stay tuned. Mm-hmm. Then, Speaking new partner. Of getting the band back together. Right? David Key, after a three-year break, cracked back out with Rich Skelton mm-hmm. at Logandale. And they placed seventh with 19.3 seconds on three head. And won the final round. They won the short round, yeah. They did. That's Absolutely. awesome. Mm-hmm. First run back. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, man. Nothing was rusty, that's for sure. No. I don't know if anybody ever questioned whether or not they would be rusty, but they weren't. No. Yeah. I think that's awesome. Mm-hmm. I mean, they didn't win it, but still. Mm-hmm. Yep. First one back to place. Confidence booster. Yeah. Yeah. And then, well, other pro rodeo news, or I guess pro level news. The Hork Dog was last week. Mm-hmm. And Caleb Driggers and Junior Nogueira won that. I'm pretty sure everyone in the industry knows that by now. Uh, they were 27.84 on five head at the South Point Hotel and Casino, splitting $12,600. But funny news, did you watch it online? I was watching the mm-hmm. updates, and Coleman Proctor and Ryan Motes, first round, second round, third round, they were leading it. Like, yeah. First in every mm-hmm. round, and then all of a sudden, you get the fourth round update, and they're nowhere on the list. Yeah, Driggers must have been roping his butt off though, because he placed with Colin too, mm-hmm. and I know he was in there with all three partners for a while. So shout out to those guys. That was Caleb. Yeah, he roped like crazy, and Junior yeah. was on a new horse. He was on two. That was a little bay, huh? Um, I don't or know if something. it's a bay or a buckskin. I think it came from Kenny and Mary Ann Brown in Maryland. So. Mm-hmm. He likes to moan, and he he always talks about him. So, so I saw a video. They, I'm always on Facebook watching all team roping. So, there was a the hork dog kind of mm-hmm. put a highlight reel up mm-hmm. last night, I believe. Yeah, and so got to see yeah. see that horse. That looks sweet. Yeah, he, he, I couldn't tell in the picture if he was a bear or like a buckskin. He was kind of a funky darker, color, dark, yeah, funky color. Um, but yes, Jin Junior. Just got a new rope deal, so that was something mm-hmm. I saw. Yeah, he kind of he's got his confidence up at the moment. It looks like so. It's cool to see. And this we record this on a Monday, mm-hmm. and it comes out on Tuesday. Tuesday is the Brock Crestor Memorial. Yes. So that's always a good roping. Justin Davis works so hard to put it on um, with with the Cresta family. They're all working really hard together. Brandon Beers brings the steers. Um, Brandon has just a killer set of cattle, and it'll be a really cool watching if you guys are watching um, on Tuesday. And I know X Factor Roping is actually recording it, so follow X Factor Roping on Facebook. Subscribe to X Factor Roping online, and I bet you'll get to see all the stuff, all the good highlights and all mm-hmm. the stream of it. We will be watching. Yeah, mm-hmm. I will be sitting at my desk. Yes. <laughs> Reloading. <laughs> <laughs> but. All right. So, moving on to the World Series of Team Roping. Yes, there was a Matthews Lennon cattle roping in Andrews, Texas. Mm-hmm. First American Cowboy 12 winners yes. were Samson Jackson and Ty Daniel, Daniel Holler. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were 30-20 on forehead. Uh, they won that, so that's exciting. That I mean, we had the American Cowboy 10, and we saw how great that was last yeah, or paid this out year. A ton of money. Yeah, so it's exciting that the World Series is kind of stepping up and adding another roping mm-hmm. into the American. That's gonna be sweet. Yeah, I mean, as much money as they paid over just six months of mm-hmm. having that American Cowboy 10, it's exciting to see what the 12 is gonna end up paying and what the 10 next year will pay. So. Oh, yeah, and yeah. I saw Kelsey Pinkert won the, won the American Cowboy 10 with Randy Wrangle. Uh-huh. That was cool to see because uh, just another girl 
knocking them down at the World Series. You're up in so. Hashtag rope like a girl. Hashtag rope like a girl. Exactly. <laughs> and another girl. Oh, and of one of our favorites. Yeah, one of Matthew's Landon Cattle's own. Mm-hmm. Kenna Francis. Yep. Won the 13.5 with Joe Derrick. That's awesome. Yeah, Kenna stinks. I love watching mm-hmm. Kenna rope. Yep. It's awesome. It is sweet. Yep, absolutely. All right, moving on. Um, and then another World Series Open that happened this past weekend was Mountain States Cattle Company uh, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The 8.5. The 8's always a high payout roping. Mm-hmm. Like, we got to enter the 8. We. Me. You. Me. Yeah, I'll, I'll just stick to the bleachers. Okay, yeah. you can come watch. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, another high payout roping. Uh, they paid out for first $9,350. Uh, Lydia... Oliberry? Mm-hmm. Oliberry. Mm-hmm. And John Martinez won that. That's awesome. Very Another cool. girl mm-hmm. in the standings. Absolutely. Oh, and then USTRC News, mm-hmm. which everyone, if you're on Instagram, go ahead and like USTRC. Audra Gentry has taken over all things social media, so that will be good. Mm-hmm. Keep your eyes on that. Yep. There was the Texas Championships in San Antonio. The Open winners were Andrew Livingston and Truman Magnus. Mm -hmm. They split $5,000. And uh, the 15.5 was Leander Williams and Logan Moore. 24 and 82 on fourth. They split $4,500. And then Logan also won second with Logan Curie. Yeah, so he banked a lot that weekend. Logan Moore won a ton of money, so that's exciting. Yeah, that was another great rope in at the Rose Palace, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep, back there. Yep. And that's pretty much it for news. Um, there's some upcoming events this weekend. It's Easter weekend, so there's not a whole lot going on. But there are three World Series ropings this weekend. There's a double dollar roping in Ogden, Utah, a Mountain States Cattle Company in Torrington, Wyoming, and a Flying R Ventures in Pal Butte, Oregon. Are you going to Torrington this weekend? Hopefully, if my partner decides he's going or not. Is your partner my husband or no? Do you no, is he partner? going? Cause I, don't, I hope not. I'll talk him into it. No. <laughs> no I was like, oh, no, do I need to know something? I don't want to go to Torrington this weekend. No offense, Mountain State's Cattle Company. I just really don't want to go. Um, I hope Tori does go with you then. Um, no, that's good. Okay. No. Yeah, no, not your husband. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, that's on hold. <laughs> All right, everybody. Okay, everyone, I hope you have a great week. I hope you enjoyed this little wrap-up we gave you, and hope it was helpful so you have something to chat about in the practice pen with your buddies. Oh, and this is a score week before we go, right? Yeah. This is a week for the score with Jordan Weaver. It is. Of the 1017 Project. If you guys haven't gotten your April issue yet, there's an awesome story by Kendra Santos on the 1017 Project. I cannot wait for you to hear this interview with Jordan. It was inspiring. It opened my eyes to a whole bunch of what's going on and then ways that as the roping industry, we can have a really positive effect on the world, which we don't always think about. We think about going to benefit ropes, this and that. Mm-hmm. But this is an, the 1017 Project presents another kind of easy way um, for the roping industry to give back to the community, and it all kind of changed the game for a lot of people. So I uh, remember every, thurs- every other Thursday, including this Thursday, mm-hmm. the score launches. And before we go, leave us a review, leave us a rating, iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, wherever you are listening. Give us five stars. Most of you are listening on iTunes. So scroll to the bottom of your episode library of the score. Mark five stars. If you are so moved, hit the write a review button, and we'd appreciate it.